about the cares and worries of this world, how we get drawn away by all these other things. We get all tangled up in all these things, and that kills our spiritual life, doesn't it? Now, what was the fourth soil Jesus spoke about? The good soil, the fertile soil. And he said, when the seed falls in the good soil, it grows up and produces a harvest a hundred times, or sixty times, or thirty times. Now, think about the world we live in for a moment, just the, the design in nature, in biology, in this world. A little seed that looks like nothing, you plant that in good soil, up, uh, fertile soil, it can produce a great fruit tree, with fruit and seeds. So one seed goes in, many seeds come out. Multiplication. Jesus was talking about spiritual multiplication, and this is where all of us need to ask ourselves serious questions. Are our lives like this? Are they producing the fruits of the Spirit in abundance? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, self-control, and so on and so on. Galatians chapter 5. More than that, we do know the Lord Jesus is our Savior. We're connected to his life source. The Holy Spirit is flowing through us. Are we bringing other people into his kingdom? Taking them from death to everlasting life, from darkness to light because of us. Pointing them to the Lord Jesus, the only saviour of the world. Now in the first century, they were farmers. They understood about seed and soils. They could understand the picture Jesus was painting. But do we today understand the Lord Jesus, what he was teaching? How can we be like good, fertile soil? So when the seed and the word of God is planted in our lives, the harvest a hundred times or sixty times or thirty times okay let's go and see our olive press next that's and we'll learn about pressing the oil out of the olives